Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. We are today, Tuesday, April 25th, 2017. And for today, we have an amazing book. We are going to review Illicit by Naeem Moses. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this to you, but this particular book, I knew of it from a documentary that I watched years ago on PBS and the author was present and he mentioned Haiti in relation to this book so I always remembered the name of the book and I also remembered um, you know where I watched the documentary but I didn't know the author so it was really one of the first thing that I wanted to do when I went back to the US it was to pick up this book and to read it now let's read the back of the book for you it says a groundbreaking investigation of how unlawful commerce is changing the world by transforming economies reshaping politics and capturing governments in this fascinating and comprehensive examination of the underside of globalization oh my god Moise Naim illuminates the struggles between traffickers and the hamstrung bureaucracies trying to control them. From illegal migrants to drugs, to weapons, to laundering money, to counterfeit goods, the black market produces enormous profits that are reinvested to create new businesses, enable terrorists, and even take over governments. Naeem reveals the inner working of these amazingly efficient international organizations and shows why it is so hard and so necessary to contend them. Reverting and deeply informed, illicit will change how you see the world around you. Guys, listen. Whatever field that you want to go into, okay? Whatever field, you better get this book and you need to read it this is an amazing book okay this book what is it what do you find in this book i think that this book everyone who supposedly is trying to go into some type of um field and is trying to go in business you really need to read this book for me this book was an eye-opener because you know doing business and this entire work scene that i'm doing right now i'm doing it because of my passion that initially I was like, okay, you know what? I really want to do something for Haiti. And from there, everything just started. And I ended up diving into the world of business. But the business world is not an easy world. The business world is a, is a very cruel, it's a very, you know, rigid, it's a very cutthroat world, whatever type of business that you're doing. So you understand that for everything that we're trying to do, for every product, for every services that you're trying to provide, the next man is trying to provide that. And sometimes they may have more success than you, right? A couple of years ago, someone sent me an email, a very detailed email about a product that they wanted to bring to Haiti. And the person asked me what I think to evaluate the product for them and what I think. Now, given the fact that prior to me receiving this email, I had done a somewhat tour of um, this huge marketplace that we call Quabo Sal, I think here in Haiti, and I was made aware of a lot of things in this market, right? So when the person wrote to me, I explained to the person that it's not so much that the business, the product that they have and the business that they have is not going to work, but it's so much that it will require a very, very different strategy. And I don't think that person understood. <laughs> I think that person really thought that I was trying to con them. Boo boo, listen. You know, I cannot con anybody. It's not really in me. I mean, it's not so much that it's not in me, but why would I like talk to anybody, sit here, film videos, and then try to con you? Now, for anybody who reads this book, you will understand how the black market by black market is everybody who has a business uh, under the table. It's a very organizational, it's a very important market. So you cannot go into business without having an understanding of the black market. You are going to get eaten alive. Even bureaucrats 
even bureaucracies, even governmental, sometimes they deal with the black market because they understand that these days right now, you cannot eliminate the entire black market. So this book and this book, you really are going to understand why certain countries like Haiti remains the way they need to remain. So this is also a book that I recommend for my investors who are thinking about investing in Haiti because you really have to understand why Haiti is still the way it is. Not only Haiti, but who pro who's profiting from Haiti being at the back road? Who's profiting from Haiti being really a garbage of a country? You have to really go into these things. And I think if we, oh my God, like I don't want to make this too long, but even when we're talking about poli Haitian politics, I never really do any videos re um, regarding Haitian politics because I just don't really think that it's necessary, but even the, the so-called politicians that are here in Haiti, they are not realizing the in-depth of them being in the political scenes in Haiti because nine times out of the thing, when you are in this political scenes in Haiti, you deal a lot with the black market, right? And sometimes if you are out of the loops with what a particular field of industry has to bring to you, then you are going to get completely eaten up right so this particular book is extremely well i finished it i purchased this book and when did i purchase this 1201 2015 december 1st 2015 it's a very explicit book you know this author is really phenomenal he does a lot of great work he produced a lot of like great great book for us to read through so i definitely suggest that you read this book because you are going to learn a lot in regards to the black market and if you want to enter not only here in haiti but perhaps the countries of central america some other countries of the caribbean you really need to have a greater sense of the black market all right so i hope that i did justice to this particular book thank you so much for watching and i hope you read it bye